Yo, what's poppin', okay. fellas and gentle fellas? That might just be the same thing. Uh, I'm continuing my exploration of Guilty Gear characters. We just finished with Mei. Although I might experiment more with Mei in some matches, because it was fun. Uh, but now, we're moving on to another charge character, which I'm less thrilled about. Axel Lowe. So, we're just gonna get him out of the way. I, I'm not a very good zoner. Because I just like to go in and do shit. And uh, charge characters definitely aren't my forte, so this might be this might be a weak showing. I've also got uh, a fellow British man here with me to give me tips and tricks on how to be British. You got your cup of tea with you, right? Yeah. Is, is that what you are to me? Just my cup of tea? I thought we were a bit more than that. No. Wow. Okay, you I'm going cup of tea in your hand. Oh. Oh, okay. You you meant actually literally. Um Yeah, I meant literally. Is that step a number one on becoming an Axel God? Yeah. Okay, well I'm Pinky already up. failing. So what I know about Axel is his punch button's very good. Just just hit people with that and uh it keeps people out. Especially people who just like to run in and don't have a strategy against Axel like me. So, same with this Toopy. Toopy's also really good. It catches dashes, which is very good for Axel because people like to dash in to get in onto him. So those are two good buttons that you can just spam in neutral. Um, I think Jump P is also good, I believe. It's a good air to air, so I think you've got to be pretty preemptive with it, though. I don't know if it's really a reactionary button. Quick hit, what other buttons are good? I <laughs> I don't know. I don't the know. A actually. Button. The A button. Okay, so the A button is definitely uh, his 2H. Axel's 2H is very good. Again, again, yes. another d dash check, and. It's also good for if I do something like, uh, I believe, like that, and then I can, oh wait, maybe this, I can throw him, and then, maybe I'm just timing this wrong? Okay, well, it leads to setups. Uh, oh yeah, this is it. Duh, duh. And then I can do that, and then push him away. And, or you could just do, I think it's Raindrop, which is that button, which I don't know if it's as good. I don't think so. I think you usually want to use this button if you're, if they block these two hits. But other than that, this one is usually the best thing to just keep him away after you hit 2k DD. Or additionally, 2k DD. Speaking of, I haven't talked about Axel's literal god button, his eSports 2K. This shit is so good. It low pro profiles literally everything, and it's only 5 frames. So, a lot of matchups just end up being Axel spams this button if they get too close. <laughs> Do you know what's um, better than 5 frames? Tell me. 1 frame grenades, baby. That's true, but... Out of combos that I already know for Axel, it's nothing impressive. I know your two button <laughs> combo where you just press the same button twice and then this. <laughs> and then, oh, you know, you can do a, an additional heavy slash and then that's that. And then you start spamming Ransom Geki. Uh, another Axel thing is instant air dash back. This button. It doesn't have to be instant air dash too, you could just jump back as well. But yeah, that button's really good for people keeping people in check. Very good. Really annoying. Uh, that's his JS, his jumping slash. Uh, and I believe he's got a command normal, which is... Yes, this button. To be honest, 
I think this move is really only good for catching people off guard. It's an overhead, but it's it's a very slow one and reactable. Like, I could do this and then just... Actually, I don't even know if that counts as a meaty. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Like, maybe I could do that and then... And then, I don't know, something. Uh, but that's all I really know for Axel myself. I might hop into the combo trials to to see what other people have crafted on. So let's do that. Okay, I have to hold down. And then I have to command normal again? That, that... This... This is stupid. <laughs> You're never gonna hit anyone with this. <laughs> this is... This is dumb. Okay. Well, I did it. But I'm not happy about it, because I was... That was dumb. I'm going back to the combo search screen. <laughs> Don't. Welcome to my TED talk. This might be cool. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. I think this one might actually be decent. Okay. So I think I've got a combo that's one, not terribly hard, two, somewhat practical. Uh, and three, I would actually be able to land in a match at my skill level. So let's try this. So all it is is this, 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 this. Simple enough. It didn't involve Rens and Geki, which is sort of what I care about, but I don't know. I think me playing, I think I just use Ransom Geki as just a, as a zoning tool and not a combo tool. So this is fine, honestly. I could do this one. And while I do this combo, Hayden's gonna guess what TK means in terms of in fighting games. So have at it, Hayden. While I try and do this. Uh, uh. Oh, it's far slash. I don't know, like. I'm going to go nice. What'd you say? Tangible knife. No. <laughs> hmm. Do I have to. I want to look at the replay panel. Do I have to sprint? Testicle knee. I can do this. Testicle knee? That's the closest you've been, and it's kind of funny. Is testicle closest, or is knee closest? Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. Testicle knight? Nope. <laughs> that sounds sick, though. Testicle <laughs> Okay, can you give me a hint? Uh... On what the T is. I know what the K is. <laughs> is that a good enough hint? As far as I don't know how to say this word without being offensive. Uh, what? The second part. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, okay, I guess it wouldn't be offensive. I don't know, man. You just sounded like a zombie. <laughs> Definitely not what I was going for. You give me like that was like, you know, like toddler, toddler knee. Did you say toddler? Yeah. No. It's like when toddlers are playing like dinosaurs or like lions and shit. Oh, Tiger Knee. There you go. <laughs> Is that the it? 
Yeah, it's Tiger D. Oh. And it's called that because a Street Fighter character uh, has a move called Tiger D. That was like the first like time that input has been used. So it's just sort of universal now. Fair enough. Strange name, but I like it. I think Testicle Knee is better though. I also like Testicle Knee better. What'd you say? It appears you're still struggling. Listen, I told you, charge characters are not my forte. God damn it. God damn it. Hmm. Hey, yeah, I'm doing it pretty consistently now. Maybe I might try my own variant of the combo. <laughs> That's being true, but it's improvising, colonizing, taking control. True. One square combo. Now you have been doing this whole time. Yeah. Now you're truly embracing your inner brick. Hold on. Since I freaking can't get this explosion, I'm going to go into training mode and then do this combo. Uh, training mode, because I think I have an idea. Hey, and then I can just do shit from there. Oh. Okay, so that's a setup. After I bring him back, I can kick, and then I could either go back like that and keep him zoned. Or I can go in and counter hit him with this because I won't expect it. Or I could jump it up like that. But uh, I think, like aside from that combo, I'm just gonna use Rents and Geki for for just zoning. There you go. Just yeah. give him some light little combo slaps and then some Rents and Geki like. Door stat, it's like, go away. Yeah, exactly what you said. You couldn't have said it better myself. I'm just gonna play the simple Axel. It's just keep him out with just my big buttons. Just press one button. I don't need to worry about combos. As long as they just can't get in, right? Yeah, Which is actually kind of true with, with Axel's game plan. <sighs> okay. Next time, we're taking Axel into the real world, where people don't just stand there and get hit like a, like a lab dummy, and they try to attack you. So, uh, I'll have to bring my A-game, my British A-game.